this is 2.9 physics uh not one of the nice quizzes it's only how much I need? 19 questions okay uh i don't think this one will come so let's do it what's the acceleration after two seconds just go to two seconds and it's at four uh what's the velocity after four seconds okay after four seconds the car would have accelerated at four meters per second squared for four seconds so how much will the velocity be you can just multiply velocity is equal to acceleration times time because you know acceleration is velocity divided by time so you could just multiply the four times four and you get 60. Sure, come on. Uh, the displacement after four seconds. Okay. Type if. Uh, just small. No, no, you can't actually. You since it's a constant acceleration, you have to use the UARM formula. And UARM UARM formula when you have acceleration and time is x equals half a t squared. Okay, so in this case, it's gonna be half times the acceleration, which uh, wait after four seconds. Uh, after four seconds, it would be at four, at four times the time squared, which is four squared. So you're gonna get thirty-two. X equals thirty-two. Question uh, IV. Uh, the acceleration after 10 seconds, okay, at 10 seconds you go down, it's minus 4. Uh, what's the instantaneous velocity after 12 seconds? It's going to be 0. Okay, let me tell you why. Here we said the velocity was 16, because 4 times 4. Okay, then here it stayed at 16, so if you want to draw it, you can actually do like this. So it was accelerating for 4 seconds until it reached 16, so it accelerated until 16. Then the acceleration became 0, so the velocity stayed constant for another 4 seconds. So here 4 seconds, and another 4 seconds would be 8 seconds. Okay, uh, and then after 8 seconds, it started decelerating okay decelerating for four seconds okay decelerating and it reached zero because in four if the acceleration is negative four okay uh for four seconds that would be negative 16. here i was at 16 so 16 minus 16 hell and here i'm at zero meters per second okay so it, this would be the vt graph it would go up stay constant then go back down so at 12 seconds it went back down to zero. Okay, it went back down to zero. So select the VT graph. It would be the one I just drew. It went and accelerated, then stayed constant, then went back down. Okay. Question two. Uh, the times at which the car is at rest. Obviously, if it's at rest, yani V equals zero. And when does V equal zero? Over here at eight seconds, and over here at thirty-five seconds. Question three. Uh, so this is position and time xt graph. Okay, it is for an elevator cab. It starts from rest, moves upward, then stops. Okay, select the VT graph of the motion of the elevator cab. Okay, uh, so since it starts from rest, moves upward, and then stops, that means any yani starts from rest, it moves, then uh, it stays constant. Oh, okay, wait, wait. Uh, and then it stops. Uh, wait, wait, let me see. Yeah, so you just have to take it from the description. If it's starting from rest and starting here at zero, okay, then it moves upward, so it starts accelerating, okay, obviously until it reaches a constant speed. Then it stops, yani akid, it stops, it goes back down until v equals zero. Uh, Question four Which car is moving faster at the start of the motion? Akid is going to be car A. Which car ends up further from the starting point? By a car B, which experiences a greater magnitude of acceleration? Okay, A, because it decreases its velocity at a faster rate than B. Okay, it's a steeper line. Question five: Select the VT graph that describes a car accelerates from rest in a positive direction. Okay, then moves at a constant speed before slowing down and going back to rest. So accelerates from rest and it starts going up. Okay, then moves at a constant speed and it stays constant. Then uh, slows down until it's going to rest, like this. Okay, it's gonna be this one. Question six. Uh, the average acceleration between 0 seconds 5 seconds. Okay, at 0 seconds, you're going to do acceleration is velocity final minus velocity initial over time. Okay, velocity final. Okay, at 5 seconds, it's 4. Okay, at the initial, at 0 seconds, it's minus 5. So 4 minus minus 5 over the time taken, which is 5. So it's going to be 9 over 5, which is 1.8. Okay. Uh, question 7. 
the instantaneous acceleration at t equals one second. Again, same concept. Uh, this was in the previous quiz. At one second, it might not be on the line. But you can, since it's a straight line, you can just find the slope of the line. Adi, since it's a straight line, that means it's constant all around. So if if you find the slope of the line, Adi, it's gonna be fine. So at zero, I have at zero seconds. I have uh, zero meters per second as my speed. Oh my god, this handwriting is bad. Okay, and then at two seconds, my speed is twelve meters per second. Can I find the acceleration? Uh, okay, I can. Velocity final minus initial twelve minus zero, which is twelve. Two minus zero two, we get six. Okay, the acceleration at t equal three seconds. Again, find the slope of the line. You can just at five seconds and the zero uh, meters per second. At two seconds and the uh, twelve meters per second. Time and final minus initial zero minus twelve is minus twelve. Five minus two is three. It's all like negative four. Okay. Question eight. Uh, the net displacement during the six seconds. Okay, whenever you have a VT graph and they ask you to find the area, uh, to find the displacement, you have to find the area of the graph. Okay, this is obviously a trapezoid. Okay, so you have to use B1 plus B2 over 2 times height. Okay, base 1 is going to be six seconds, uh, base 2 is going to be between 2 and 5, which is 3, uh, which is 3 over 2 times the height, which is 10. So if you're going to get 45, which put it in a calculator. Question 9. Uh, the VT graph shows the journey of two cars, car A, car B. Okay, uh, the, initial velocity, uh, the initial velocity of car B is twice that of, B, of A. The two cars have the same initial position. What happens at t equals 12 seconds? And over here, what happens? They have the same velocity. What happens at t equals 24 seconds? Uh, they occupy the same point and they occupy the same position. Okay, so I figured it out, but I'm not sure if this is actually the way to solve. But uh, since it's a VT graph and we're speaking about position, the position would be the area, okay? So let's talk about this triangle here. Okay, the area of this triangle would be 24 times uh, the height, which is, let's call it, it's going to be the velocity of B, right? And they said the velocity of B is twice that of A. So VB equals 2 times VA. But let's just call it 2 times VA. So it's base times height divided by 2. But this can become 12. Okay, uh, so it's going to be 12 times 2 VA, which is going to be 24 velocity of A. That is the position of B. However, A, okay, it's not really a shape, it's a straight line. If you have a straight line and you ask to find uh, the displacement, you can just multiply the time uh, by the velocity. Uh, displacement x equals VT. Okay, uh, so the time in this case, <sighs> the time is 24, and the velocity, uh, sorry, the yeah, the velocity of A, we can just call it velocity of A. Okay, and can't you see that the position of this is equal to the position of this? Yes, so they occupy the same position. That's the way I just solved it. It took me time to figure it out. Maybe you guys do a different way. I don't think my way is the actual way to do it. Uh, consider three cards A, B, and C all accelerating steadily at first, and then continue their motion at a constant speed. Okay, uh, their speed time uh, summarizes the motion of cars A and B only. What's the maximum speed of A? He is 30. Uh, the distance traveled by car B when accelerating is how much? Okay, so they want to find the distance traveled over here. Okay, when accelerating. It's obviously a triangle, so you do base times height over 2. So 15 times 20 divided by 2. Uh, base 15 times the height 20 divided by 2, that's 150. Okay. Uh, assume that car C has a greater acceleration than car A, but it reaches a lower constant speed than car B. Select the possible speed time graph. Okay, if it has a greater acceleration, that means obviously it will be steeper. But it reaches a lower constant speed than car B. So it should be steeper, but less than the constant speed of B, which is 20. So steeper, but less than 20, so 15. But this is wrong because it's 25. It's not less than 20. Question 11. The distance traveled between the time interval 3 seconds, 6 seconds. Okay. Between 3 seconds uh, and 6 seconds. Okay. This is a trapezoid. Okay. But please pay attention. Because this isn't this isn't base one, this is base two. No, no, the bases are always the parallel sides. So in this case, these two sides will be the bases. So the base here will be eight, and the base here will be one, two, three. Okay, so eight plus three over two times the height. The height is three. Okay, so it's gonna be sixteen point five if you multiply it. The acceleration within hmm, three seconds, six seconds. How much is it? Acceleration you do velocity final minus velocity. So now at uh, 
three seconds I have eight uh, meters per second as my velocity. At six seconds and day three meters per second. Have time and finds my solution. So three minus eight over six minus three will be minus five over three, which is minus one point six seven. But these are the ones in place, so keep it as only one point seven. Question twelve. Uh, the speed of the object at time equals zero. Okay, at time equals zero, it's thirty. Below. Uh, the speed of the object at time equals twenty. Okay, it's zero. That it. No way. The distance traveled in the last five seconds is how much? Okay, how do you find the distance traveled if it's in the last five seconds? If it's a VT graph, it's a triangle, right? So we do base times height. So base it over two. Five is the base times the height seventy over two. Uh, this becomes thirty-five. This becomes cancels. You're gonna get one hundred uh, seventy-five. Think. Yeah, the total distance traveled uh, during the 20 seconds is 975 meters. What's the average speed of the object during the 20 seconds? I hate speed, you just do distance divided by time. If I'm not wrong, I think you just have 975 divided by 20. Yeah, 48. But this had one decimal place. Well, okay, if it's in the choices, 48.8. Pick it because that's around. But if they had 48.75 also in the choices, then pick 48.75. And Mohem, okay. They gave you distance, they give you time. Okay, to find speed, just do distance divided by the time. Hmm. Circle the time at which the car is at instantaneous rest. Okay, when is it at rest? When the velocity is equal to zero, and we have it at A, C, and E. So at time equals zero, at time equals five, and at time equals 11 or 13. Uh, which time intervals indicate an increase in the speed of car? Zero seconds, three seconds. Okay, from zero seconds, three seconds, they're increasing. Three seconds, five seconds? No, it's going up. Uh, 13, 16. Okay, it's going up. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty obvious. Is a, is a hatulak like 9, uh, 13? That would be correct also. Wait. Wait. Why is 9, 13 wrong? But I can't really figure out why 9, 13 is wrong. If you know in the comments, please put it. Uh, but in, from what I'm seeing, 9 to 13, it's increasing. It's going from 9 to 13. I don't know. Uh, th the accelerating. Oh. Okay. The acceleration during 0 seconds, 3 seconds. Uh, how much is it? You do velocity final minus velocity initial divided by time. Okay. Uh, the velocity here is 3 minus initial velocity, I get 0. Over the time, which is three seconds, it's one. Yeah, one. The coordinates of point B and D, respectively, are three, three, and nine minus five. The acceleration during that time interval, what is it? Just try minus five, minus five, minus five, minus five, minus three is minus eight. Nine minus three is six. Minus eight over six is gonna be minus one point three three. Question 14. The velocity time shows the motion of the cart. Uh, the five different points identify the graph of the four different phases. How do the accelerations compare in the first four phases? Okay. A key BC is going to be the least acceleration because the acceleration for it is zero. Uh, you can take a look at the slopes. Okay. Obviously, CD is the most, uh, it's the steepest one. Look at it. So, obviously, CD will be the highest. Then, the second steepest would be AB. AB will be the second. And then, DE, Mafi Gaira. E, and we know BC is obviously asked because it's zero. Which segment does the cart move the greatest distance? Uh, obviously, the one that moves the greatest distance is the one with the highest speed. Okay, High, highest velocity. And which one here has the highest velocity? It's at eight, and that's BC. So in between BC. Question 15. Uh, the graph below shows the VT graph for a moped, which travels between two different sets of traffic lights. Okay, the moped's acceleration during zero, uh, zero 06. It's going to be final. Ugh, final minus initial. So the final at 6 seconds, it's at 12. And here it's 0 is 12 minus 0 is 12. Divided by the time, 6 seconds. 12 divided by 6 is cube. The total distance, how do you find the distance in the VT graph? You find the area. Base 1, which is 21. Plus base 2, which is 12. Over 2. Times the height, which is 12. Uh, you can cancel this with this. 6, 23 times 6, uh, whatever, 23 times 6, 198. Wait, no, no, it's not. It's not. 23 times 6 is not 198. Wait, let me solve this. 21 plus 12 over 2 times 12. 
times six times thirty-three. Sorry, times six. Thirty-three times six. Uh, in AB, obviously it's speeding up. In BC, it's moving uniformly, constant speed because the velocity. And CD, obviously slowing down. DD again moving uniformly. Yeah, nothing too hard here. Uh, the average acceleration between zero seconds, four seconds, from zero to four. Zero seconds to four seconds. Okay, at four seconds. Oh, four seconds is not uh, velocity. Ah, taban. Four seconds is at negative two. Okay, so four seconds, you can say four seconds, negative two meters per second. And at zero seconds, it's at zero meters per second. So to find my solution, negative two minus zero is negative two, negative four over zero. I'll show negative four as a four uh, minus zero is four. If I, you're gonna get negative zero point five. Question eighteen. Uh, the instantaneous acceleration at time is four seconds. How much is it? Okay, you you have to find the the slope in the points here. Okay, the easiest one, like I told you, would be to use this one over here. That's always touching the, the x-axis. So it's going to be four point eight uh, seconds, zero uh, meter per second. So how do you find acceleration? Is velocity final minus velocity initial? Okay, our final velocity in this case would be zero. Okay, and our initial velocity in this case would be at four. How much is it? at You're 2 okay. divided by 5 point four. Oh no, 2 That's divided by 4 and how many spaces? 1, 2, 3, 4 2 divided by 4, 0.5 it would be at 1 here it would be at 1 ok, so at 4 seconds it's at 1 meter per second ok, so subtract 0 minus 1 uh, is negative 1 uh, 4.8 minus 4 is uh, 0 0.8 if you divide this, you what is that? One divided by zero point eight. Yeah, one point two five. So negative one point two five is the answer. Question nineteen. Okay, the displacement. How much is it? Again, it's a trapezoid, no? Then a velocity time graph. So base one plus base two. So four plus two over two times the height, which is five. Okay, so six over two times five, which is fifteen. That's it for 2.9. Thank you so much for watching.